Hi, I'm Reed Bloodworth, managing partner of Bloodworth Law with offices in Orlando and Winter Haven, Florida. At Bloodworth Law, our team handles estate planning services for clients across Florida and can work with you remotely via video conference or in the office with the appropriate safety measures taken to protect you as we help you with your legal needs. In this video, I'm going to discuss the probate process and why a will has to go through probate. Probate is the legal transference of titles of assets of the creator of a will, the testator, to the will's beneficiaries. If there's an asset for which there is no beneficiary named, which means there's not a payable on death beneficiary named within the asset, then it has to go through probate. If there's a will, then the will directs where an asset goes. However, there may be problems with the will, which ensures that it will go through probate. If an asset has to have its title transferred after the testator dies, and there's no named beneficiary, then it has to go through probate whether or not there's a will. For example, probate is necessary when a testator is married and they live with their spouse in a house which is their homestead. But in this scenario, the house is only owned by the testator. Under the testator's will, he attempts to leave the house to someone other than his spouse. However, pursuant to Florida law, the testator is not allowed to do that. Under Florida law, the spouse is entitled to a life estate in the house so that they can live in the house until they die. Alternatively, the spouse can take 50% of the value of the house and the remainder would go to the beneficiary named in the will. Florida law does not allow a testator to leave their spouse homeless. Sometimes people attempt to do this, but if and when this fails, you're going to have to go through probate. What if there's children? What if there's an ex-spouse that the home was promised to? There are many situations where you may incorrectly put in your will that you want X to happen, but just because you put it in there doesn't mean that you're allowed to do it. For example, if you created your will and you've accumulated quite a lot of money, you put specific amounts into the will stating child A is going to get $10,000 and this person will get $10,000 and this person will get $5,000. But at your death, your assets have decreased or increased. Then the specific amounts have to be adjusted and will have to go through probate. Creating a will and estate planning are not do-it-yourself projects. If you're over 18, you should have your estate planning completed and your legal documents reviewed by an attorney. Again, I'm Reed Bloodworth, the managing partner of Bloodworth Law. Give me a call. Let's talk about how Bloodworth Law can help you and your family.